Our organizational leadership do you, meeting. Do you, want, do you want it after public speaking? Wherever the council want to put it. Were you at all drinking? Yes, I had a cocktail. Were you? On what level were you then? Oh, I don't think I was drunk, but... I don't hardly drink, so who knows what a little uh, cocktail might do for me. I stick by it. I call you a handkerchief head Negro. I call him a handkerchief head Negro. And I'm sticking with it. Google it. You got words like gaslighting, handkerchief head Negro. All oh, that's in the dictionary now. You just outdated. Point of information. You, through you to the speaker, do you know my name is Quincy Murphy or Councilman Murphy or Third War or Mr. Murphy? Not handkerchief, Negro, or none of those words. I view point you as a handkerchief head Negro. Point I don't know point how you view yourself. Point of information. Through What's you your point? to the speaker, my name is Councilman Murphy, Mr. Murphy, or Third War Councilman. What, them three. Not, no, we ain't using adjectives or we ain't using those other words. And in and, and all due respect to you, I'm asking you and I'm asking my colleagues to, to my name is Councilman Elect Quincy Murphy. Nothing else. I don't want to be called by anything uh, else. Uh, man, that third war going to look pretty much the same from the time you got there to the time you left. Y'all ain't doing all of that, but your ego got you thinking you are. That's usually how handkerchief head Negroes act and talk to other Negroes. I'm going to talk about it. They used to call them Uncle Tom. Go ahead. Um, Mr. Mays, please refrain from, from referring to your colleagues as derogatory names. This is an appeal on me calling y'all handkerchief head Negroes. And so I'm going to talk about handkerchief head Negroes in the appeal, win, lose, or draw. That's what this appeal is about. I call you and him a handkerchief head Negro. Now y'all don't want me to say handkerchief head Negro in the appeal. What he want me to say, Mr. Murphy, handkerchief head Negro, Councilman Murphy, handkerchief head Negro, Quincy Murphy, handkerchief head Negro. I know your name the whole time, giving speeches. We're not going to be able to get no work done until we get him out of there. He's a disgrace. And you think I'm going to sit here and applaud you? You're a handkerchief head Negro. Leave me out here like I'm a fool. I'm going to tell you what. I done seen this movie before. It was Kerry Nelson. Jackie Poplar, one point of order. What's the point of order? Madam President, how long are you going to let this ramble? You've already continue? had your first warning. And so either I can have Officer Metcalf escort you from the meeting or you can leave on your own. I'll take the escort because I'm going to sue. You can't remove me out of my elected seat for time to talk about a motion. This Madam is Chair. outrageous. Madam Chair. This is outrageous. This is outrageous. Mr. Metcalf. Oh, they laugh. Y'all think it's funny that you can remove elected folks out their seat for talking about Democrats, Republicans, old administrations, and new and blight? This is getting ridiculous in front of the city of Flint, across the nation, repeatedly Gestapo-style tactics. This is ridiculous. They think they, it's funny to this crowd. This is getting to be a way too much, Mr. Metcalf. I'm from Flint. I ain't going to let you come in here and mess up Flint. You got my attention. You can laugh and grin and skin. And Mr. Garrett, I ain't laughing with it. I'm getting dead serious. It's more than one way to skin a cat. Miss right. Fields, you and Miss Worthen has been the nasty attackers toward me and others in this on this council. Just nasty. Whether it's Mr. Gilchrist, whether point it's of me. order, the use What's of the your word point? nasty. I said and listen to you. It's an attack. Ms. Nasty you out, is an attack. You, what's your point? Please reference this Ms. for the other Miss Fields, you out of order. You out of order. You don't run no meeting. You call a point of order, state your point, and I'm a rule on it. You don't direct nothing in here. Has to stop, Mr. 
This is ridiculous. Y'all ridiculous. Okay, what's your point? Do you know that you speak constantly when others are speaking? That ain't a point of information. You're out of order. You're using it to take the flow. You're out of order. Can you sit there and be quiet like I did when you spoke? Can you do it? You're, you're out of order. This is your say? second warning. Third warning. What you say? Are you going to scream and, and yell at my Yeah, face? shut up, please. You're out of order. I'm here to tell you this. I'm no Mr. Sure. Scott. Mr. Scott, you're out of order. You can move and leave. You said Mr. you were gone. I'm asking you to do, but you ain't going to stand in the middle. Point of order. You out of order, Mr. Scott, and you, your business is over. You don't need to talk to me. Okay. You had your chance to talk Councilman to me. Why are you walking up here on me? Get on Mays. back away Councilman from me. Mays. Oh, what? Oh, what you doing? This is inappropriate. What? We are taking a meeting. Get away from me. This is Get away from me. You out of order. Get the hell away from me. Get the hell away from me. You, you want to crack me across my head? And I'm going to tell you what. I want this sent to the police. You ain't cracking me across my head. Well, you ain't going to threaten nobody in no public meeting because your man don't want to answer an easy question. I'm going to make a promise to you. You're not going to interrupt this meeting threatening no elected official with no physical violence. I don't care what kind of suit you wear. Councilman Mays. I don't Councilman care what Mays. kind of suit you Councilman wear. Councilman you Mays, wear I'm out order. asking you and to calm down. And you're making your client look bad. So go on with that mess. And remove. Now, he who laughs last, laughs best. And if you want to laugh, here go a clown outfit for you. If you want to put this on and clown, is ready for you. Cause when you clown, I'm a double clown. This ain't gonna happen under my watch. Now it might happen under her and Monica, but it ain't gonna happen under my watch. Sit there and wait your turn. That's what we all do. I've been doing it for you all day. We'd be gone by now if I hadn't let you have your turn. You way out of order. We in an appeal and I'm gonna make it plain what you're trying to do and that's why people got this stuff. Wait your turn. Hey, Eric Mays. I just set up my GoFundMe and TikTok page. Eric Mays, City of Flint. We've been to fight a hell of a legal battle. And um, I can appreciate your support. Um, thank you. I am not going to allow him to be the misogynist, egotistical, Point of order, personal tax are out of order. And you out of order, you gonna lose your right making personal tax. And if you let her, I'm gonna blast her personally when she's finished. So deal with it. She, hey, look, man, where this guy at? Because if you allow her to make personal tax, I'm gonna go up one side and down the other. She out of order. She lose her right to speak at this meeting. Right here. Oh, you gonna lose it here? You gonna run this? I'm gonna attack her personally. You already have. Ma'am, look, are you, man, look, are you taking up for this foolishness? Are you out of order? To conduct yourself and Where is that officer? You can not it's been going on for a half hour. You are a misogynist and you she, need to be stopped. Joy, can, can you remove? I asked her to be removed. Yeah, no, it's been Miss Galloway. I asked her to be removed. We started a new slate. You fight me to condone personal attack. This has been going on a half hour. There he is. He needed to be here. Okay, then watch what's been to happen. God bless you. Watch what's been to happen when I respond. Since you're going to condone it, we're going to cut that off at the knees. Her and everybody else. But since you want the council to flow this way, that's how it's going to flow. You take the side of that foolish. Watch when I respond. It's, I warned her two times ago. One to nine, and then after she won, she did it on the way sitting down. You condoning it? I'm not. Condoning my my gloves is off. Mr. So here we go. Let's get it. No, Joyce, we're not doing it. She out of order now. now Put her out. Final Put her ass out. Joyce, I'm gonna need you to, Mr. Wet Man. I'm just telling you, I've been cool since we took leadership. They not gonna make this into what they want it to be. The way you do it, you get them out. When they different treatment, decorum is um, where the, when black folks cheering, 
and black folks talking, we take offense to you calling us ghetto. Now, I'm going to assure you, I'll look up some words and call you something. I don't want to say trail or nothing, but I will. Because when I'm, my reputation is when you go low once, I go low two, three times. And the sooner that council people learn this, this ain't the first council. I keep score. You talk about me or folks I represent and others once, I might do it five times. It don't go away because that's your character. Character matters. It's up here to hear, but for you and the audience and the public, we shouldn't be voting on a five-minute limit because this folks should have been here Saturday. We called a special council meeting just to talk about our facility, and five council members was intentionally, in my opinion, missing in action. Five of them. Well, want me to name them? You, Ms. Worthing, Ms. Priestley, the so-called President Herkenroder, and Mr. Fife. Five was missing in action. We had all day Saturday. It was so important we called it on the weekend. We know what this is. Mr. Murphy, if it wasn't for Mr. Murphy talking last week, we wouldn't have had a clue something was coming out Monday. I was the president. I appointed you and Ms. Priestley to an ad hoc committee to report to this council. You and Ms. Priestley got up Miss Lottie Ferguson spoke on it and broke the quorum. Just left last week. So you broke the quorum last week and stopped the discussion on ARPA. Y'all intentionally didn't show up Saturday for the most part. And now you want to limit the discussion to five minutes. I'm willing to meet tomorrow, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. I'm a council person. We ain't got to talk about it none today if y'all want to meet tomorrow. You cannot run from this discussion about $94 million and who going to get it. And my job is to not let it be doled out to big organizations and forget about the residents. It, in two days' notice, it was over 100 and some people in this um, council chambers interested in this money. Y'all wasn't here. That's a fact. Where was you at? Maybe Saturday was wash day. Maybe you was looking at the game. When do you want to meet? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? When them people called me as president of this council back to back, how can we get our names in for a, um, to let you know what we want? I brought a proposed form to this council. You can vote yes, you can vote no, or you can abstain. You can't. He's voting no. No, I'm not voting no. Go on to the next person. Go to the next person. You don't have two votes. You got your vote. Then he abstained. He's not passing. He has to have a reason to abstain. Then he's absent. He's I'm absent. Passed. Markham is absent. Okay. Uh, Miss Poplar. If we don't get out of hand. You gonna end up in court. My vote is for the people Ms. I represent. Poplar? I passed. Mr. Mays, I'm and asking you. To, I'm asking you to take your seat. I wouldn't care when you get to telling me how I vote. Mr. Mays, you're out chief, of order. Chief, you want to take me? I had a chief take me out because I'm going to stand for Mr. the Mays, people I Mr. Mays, I'm, I'm ruling you out of order and okay, asking well you to take your seat. Okay, well, don't speak my vote. When I'm I ruling speak, you out of order. and reflect what I say. Chief, yes. can you please ask uh, Mr. Mays to leave the building? Ms. To Poplar. leave the building? To leave the building okay. or whatever you guys do with Okay, well, I'm going to see. Business. I want him to ask me. And when you ask me, Chief, I'm going to go. And it's going to reflect on you. And Ron found out what I want you to do is make sure you said that he said my past was a no. And then my no was an absent. Now, get that. And, and, and then I hope I get to get my coat because he ain't got but one vote. And I'll get arrested, I'll fight, go to jail when a council president tries to change my vote. He ain't got but one vote. So, Chief, 
They're asking you to do it. I'll stand here and let you do it officially. But I'm going to fuss for the people I represent. If I say pass, it's a pass. It ain't a no. This is ridiculous. I'm going to demand respect for the first ward. My pass ain't no no. Councilman, I'm asking you to take your seat or I'm going to ask you to be removed because you're disrupting the council meeting. Oh, I ain't got no problem with that. So you're backing up on what you say. No, I'm backing up because I don't have my paper. Because you don't know law. They're going to get sued. Miss, Miss Williams, you're out of order. That's what we're getting at. That's why Quincy got put out, Mr. President. I'm calling her to order. Can you get her out of here? Get her out of here. I ain't got to put up with this in a measly two minutes. Now, if, I, if, if they can remove me from my seat, get her the hell out of here. But you don't move on women. That's my point. So, Ms. Williams, you can come down here and stand with white folks who say I'm the most racist person they ever met in their life. You can come down here and stand and be upset because I speak strong voice in this mic. But you don't represent the first war. And so to stand and portray that, I'm from the first ward and I'm standing with these women. I want everybody in the first ward in the city of Flint to know you standing with them calling me a racist. So, Mr. Griggs, it's your turn, sir. Okay. Uh, can I get up for a second? You can, sir. Thing. One, Man, y'all better get down <laughs> here. This is me. Point of order, Mr. May. You said I could get up. Mr. May, this is inappropriate for you to. <laughs> no, it ain't. Stay out cold. Come on, first ward. Come on, first ward. Um, <laughs> it ain't inappropriate. This is insane. I'm calling out the truth. Not. And if you don't, if we don't change something, he's going to. So, the mismanagement of funds, wrongdoing, has been on our agenda for a while. Now, what is this being passed out? Who's passing this letter? Who's passing this stuff out? Who's passing this stuff out? Who's passing? Is this the clerk or Miss Fields? It's coming from Miss Fields. Every week we get a ton of, we done killed five trees fooling with Miss Fields and this stuff. Every week we come in the meet, it's a ton of stuff. The staff can't get the work done. Where's the minutes? Minutes is necessary. I don't know who doing this with, with Ms. Fields. I am on the order of the day. I'm on this letter, and it's being passed out. It distracted me when this stuff started being passed out. I got the letter. What I got ain't as thick as what's being passed out. So order of the day and pause my clock while I digest what's just passing out to me, which is the letter while I'm talking. Use the platform, sit here, get up, go walk around, come back, sit here, get up, go. Just a mess. Mr. Murphy, remember decorum. I'm, I'm done. Thank you. Mr. Mays, you've already been issued your first warning. Okay. Okay. Okay, Mr. Mays. Put that phone, Miss Worthy, and Facebook and text me. Because that's what we did when you were asleep, snoring. <laughs> Just crazy. So you want to text and face and do? That's what we did with you. And it was captured on film. You was knocked out in the middle of a business meeting. Usually you're gone. So you can come closer and get me, because I came closer when I got you knocked out. So this is what we're dealing with. Yeah, she point was snowing this field. Point it's of a order. Fact. What's your point? Mr. Winfrey. This is as far from professional behavior as it gets. He is definitely violating the disorderly. To stop this abuse. I'm going to give you a abuse. point of order. Personal tax is out of order. Now, you want to make a personal attack on me, I'm going to tell you something. I'm tired of Miss Fields calling me racist. I'm tired of you calling me personal names as it relates to women. I'm tired of it. It's wrong. You're out of order. But you keep doing it. Because when I start blasting y'all butt, like I'm doing, everybody already know it's coming from y'all. See that camera up there? So set on trying to make a senior council person look like a fool, nearly running circles around them.
and then patting them on the back. I call it that Willie Lynch syndrome in order to get the um, rowdy, rabble-rousing slave. And then once you divide them by making them feel they better than the rabble-rousing slave, you done lost control. Councilwoman. I don't think Councilman Mays is being germane to what we're dealing with right now. Right. Let's get back I on the I can subject. get there. I'm about to get there. So I didn't ask point of information is a quick inquiry. The reason you talk about votes and appointments of daily and police chief because they the mayor's police point chief. I thought I had the flow. I'm talking about the Willie Lynch. Let me explain. The Negro head wearing whatever you said. Chief the head blatant Negro. disrespect. Now, on the I remember it. I don't, attorney Kim wasn't the city attorney, as I remember when that come up. And we've been doing it ever since with other appointments. Mama Soul might be famous, but you breaking the rules and law ain't going to make you famous. Oh, I know Mama Soul, and regardless, of, she would be a great asset. And so what I'm going to do, Mr. I'm going to vote because uh, Mama Soul... You Mr. know, Mays, I know Mays, Mr. Mays, Mr. Mays, please remain respectful to your colleagues or I will issue you your first warning. I'm being, res I'm going to appeal the first warning. I what are you talking about being respectful to my colleagues? I can talk. Okay, Mr. Mays, I did not issue I'm you. I'm appealing the first warning Mr. immediately. Mays. You just Mr. say Mays. I'm going to issue you your first warning. Mr. Mays, will you please let me finish? Well, then let me continue. No, no, Point no, no. of Mr. order. Mr. Mays, Mr. Mays, let me rule. I said, point of order. Said, what is your point? Uh, that this is not fair treatment. And so I would like to just conduct the meeting in a professional manner in which a motion is heard, that you're not just listening to one colleague who is telling you his version of the rules, and then you accept that. I was going to ask her publicly, did she say ghetto? Now, to me, it's got some racial overtones. You can laugh, Ms. Um, Worthen, but I can come up with some show names for your neighborhood. Beg your pardon, I hope you get your second warning talking to me. Point of information to the speaker. I know that you know racial overtones. You've called me nasty white woman. You have insulted me and my race many times, so thank you. Can you put that in a question form? Oh, are you aware of how there many you times go. you've mentioned my race in the last four years? I'm going to mention it again. Because anybody who sets and say, do you want me to repeat it and say narcissistic a-hole, and your colleagues say nothing, it's a problem for me. I've been looking at you for years. You ain't just come on this council. You've been talking nasty for years. And you are white. If I talk nasty, I'm a nasty black man. It's a fact. So the point is this. She should have gave you your first warning if you're going to say something about ghetto. Because I tell you, I got a dictionary, encyclopedia. I can go get some names with some overtones. And when you chair, I can Google it that quick and then give you a name of how you acting. You talking about professionalism. You a hypocrite. You ain't been professional since you and Kate Fields teamed up, and I seen the picture of when y'all lost with Kate over at Luigi's, and you said she taught you so much. She was nasty, and it done rubbed up on Point, you. So don't come at me. Yes, um, Councilman. my time up. He Do called the point of information. Oh, okay. To you, to the speaker, I was at Luigi's, and they was not there on the day of the election. That's yeah, but I since this that. council is such a stickler for rules, throwing me out, having the police arrest me, talking about decorum, but going to let people say narcissistic a-hole, Mr. Murphy, I ain't getting on you. But I mean, I said BS, you said S, and it's crickets.